Also new right now at 6, Southington is voting right now on a referendum that could change the face of that town. Officials want to sign a four and a half million dollar contract with Southington Golf Course to stop a housing development from being built there. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is live to break down what it means for people living in town. She has the latest right now for us, Sharon. Well, Mark, election officials tell me that the turnout tonight is a lot higher than expected. They say by the end of the night, they expect more than 3,000 people to walk through those doors and vote on whether or not the town should acquire the development rights to Southington Golf Course. It's a wonderful place to play golf. It's a wonderful place, place to go eat, have a party, a wedding. Um, it's very, uh, very essential to the town. Tonight, Southington residents are voting on a referendum that would allow the town to secure development rights to Southington Golf Course. Town officials say spending $4.5 million to acquire the development rights to Southington Golf Course would prevent the owners from building a 114 lot subdivision on the property approved by the Planning and Zoning Commission years ago. I don't think we need more development. I don't think the town can handle uh, nope, many more families. Nope. Supporters of the acquisition say more homes means more families and possibly an overcrowded school system. We really would have to build, I think, another high school and another um, elementary school. Some neighbors also say they want to preserve as much green space as possible. They have the golf course on the other side, which I think is nicer than putting in a new development. But others oppose the $4.5 million acquisition and are worried about how it will impact their taxes. I personally don't think it's a good idea and I would prefer not to have my taxes go up any more than they already are. And voting ends at 8 o'clock tonight, so if voters approve the sale, that means that the golf course owners will no longer have the ability to build a subdivision on that land. Live in Southington, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.